This is kind of a different video. It's what my friends like to call a mukbang. So basically, I'm gonna make something and eat it for you guys. Uh, today it's gonna be a ta -ta, constructible Japanese candy. Yay! I have always wanted to make one of these and so I wanted to obviously do this. Um, I have to do the camera like this because I'm the only one at home and turning on and off my camera is kind of tricky. So hopefully this all works, but this is candy ramen. So it's all in Japanese. I can't read it. It just says dry cake mix. And all the instructions are right here. So I don't know if you can see them. So it says I need... It has the different compartments. It says I need some water in my hands. I guess is what it's saying. And it looks like it has some dough. I'm supposed to roll it out and it has a contraption to make these candy pot stickers. These guys. Sorry if it's coming in and out of focus. It's, it's trying its best. I'm trying my best. And then the second step I have is to make the ramen. So it looks pretty simple and then it has some candy um, naruto or fish cake and egg so let me open it up and get all the stuff together and I'm really excited yay all right so I'm back I have opened the container see I have the little pouch right the little container right here it's actually pretty easy to see this is for making the gyoza, the, or the little dumplings. This is for making the naruto and the egg. And then we have our bowl, and then this guy. Uh, so one of the first things I have to do is actually cut these all separate. So I'll do that and come back. Here is the paste for making it. And as you can see, this bag doubles as quite a few things. So the first thing it's supposed to do is a measuring thing for the gyoza and then this is I'm supposed to cut it until they're this size and then flatten it out to this size if you can tell. And then the second thing it's going to be for is the candy noodles. Let's see. This is the filling for the gyoza. It's some type of candy filling. I don't know what it is yet. This is the broth for the noodles. And then we have our actual noodle mixture. And then a toothpick and a little fork. So it's not exactly eco-friendly, but I've always wanted to do one of these. So I'm gonna go grab some scissors. And I'm gonna get cutting. So the first thing it says I have to do is I have to cut the bowls separate from these guys. It's actually pretty easy to cut. I thought it would be harder. And then what I have to do is I have to cut these guys like this. I'm trying not to destroy the package. I'm hoping I don't. So I have to do that and it says I have to cut the whole thing out so I have to cut these sides out and of course I'm going to be recycling these guys so don't worry about that I think it's I don't know if you can see me. this delicate stuff is kind of hard actually the plastic itself isn't that thick or anything. It's just making sure you don't mess up the container. So it says to do it like that, so I did. And as you can see, this flap just kind of folds like that. That's what we'll be doing later. 
And it says I have to do the same thing for the eggs and the naruto to cut the side off. So. I'm glad it has pictures. It's kind of like an Ikea build it for people who don't understand. So we'll see how this goes. And then I'm supposed to cut these two in half. So there's my ramen bowl and then some sort of mixing bowl maybe. Like that. Okay, so I have all of my groups separated. I'm gonna pull my chair over as I ah, destroy everything. So let's see here. The first thing I have to do is make the gyoza. Is what it is saying. So the gyoza is this stuff. And it's saying I have to make two. Let me try to get the sticker off because I can't I can't read how to make the other stuff. I don't know why they put it on top because I can't read it at all. Oh no, the water! See guys? My tablecloth is actually spill-proof, and I have this napkin on hand, so it's all good. I think whenever you're cooking, you should always have spare napkins and stuff on hand, but this tablecloth is spill-proof tablecloth. I'm pretty fond of those. Okay, I think that's mess. That's, that mess is cleaned up. So it says the last step is to make the egg and the naruto. And what you're supposed to do is take a little bit of this and add it to this. Okay, so I'm supposed to take a little bit of this. And warm it up a little bit. It's supposed to fit in there. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'm supposed to squish it out. This is actually really hard. It's actually really thin, too. Or maybe I'm supposed to combine it. So it doesn't say, it doesn't say ultimately to make them together. However, these, these balls, the way they are, they don't exactly, it's really thin, but you're supposed to just like pinch it outward, pinch it outward. Is not very circly and it's starting to get really thin. I'm really wondering how good this is. See, it's like it rips. I don't know if you can tell. It gets to a certain point and it just rips because it's so thin. At this point, I am not following the directions. Because, one, they're in Japanese. So this ball is probably two of those circles by now. And I'm just trying to get it to go. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was supposed to be all along, is the two balls. And I just, I just don't know because I don't speak Japanese or read it. So the goal at this point... Is trying to get it into this circle shape. That is my mission. Oh, now it now it's like slightly too much little paste stuff. <sighs> Man. Okay. That's. That's not a circle. It's bigger than it's supposed to be. But I'm going to roll with it at this point because I've been working on this one disc for a while. At least it slides off fairly well. 
So then you're supposed to place it in the gyoza maker. It's actually really sticky. Now, I'm gonna pat it down a little bit because I want there to be enough room for the candy. Otherwise it's pretty, pretty small. So then you're supposed to take this and it's the filling and I'm just gonna cut off a little corner and put in my trash heap that I have waiting over here. Go in the recycle. You're supposed to put a little bit of this inside. Ooh, it's really pretty guys, actually. It's like pink and green and crystal-like. Some sort of candy pieces. I think it's supposed to be like green onions and pork, I would imagine. And then you're supposed to, oh no! It just spring-loaded. Like I tried to do it and then the plastic went Phew. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try salvage this, guys. Maybe I should have picked a less difficult constructible candy for my first time. Because this is turning out terribly. I'm just gonna use, because I'm the one eating it, I'm just gonna fill it in. And I'm just gonna put it in there. Okay, take two. Like, okay, squished. And then it's supposed to pop out and pop out. Yeah! Looks like a little gyoza. Okay, I'm gonna put it. I'm going to put it in this little side dish thing they got going on right there. So, the rest of this I'm going to put in the noodle container for now. Kind of wipe it away a little bit. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It was bad, but it wasn't too bad. I'm going to take a little more of this paste stuff. Warm it up. I think that's the trick to this paste stuff is you have to really warm it up in your hands and then it gets perfect. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. I'm gonna roll it. So it's way bigger than that. I'm just gonna flat out say it's way bigger than this circle, but it's Definitely less dough paste than I used last time, but I warmed it up a little bit more, I think. So now I'm going to very carefully, see this is the thing is you get into the center and it does that. It's with that. Ugh. I hope the rest of this goes smoother than the gyoza. And it better taste amazing because I don't want to go through all this work and have it taste like crud. But I'm sure it'll taste better because I worked so hard. I worked so hard to get it to do what it was supposed to do. So I think it will taste amazing. Oh, I think I almost got it. Okay. Oh no. It's this little part right here. I'm almost done with this circle and then it ripped. But I'm going to fix it. I'm just fix it. Okay, so this one's a lot thinner. It's more of a circle. So we're going to try it, see how this goes. Luckily, it peels off fairly well from the plastic. You might not imagine that 
because there's no lubrication or anything but then once you peel it off it sticks like no one's business to everything okay now gently place it in the mold okay, come on it's sticking in my fingers really bad okay gently i'm gonna uh, come on it doesn't want to just lay there this is the thing okay and I want to make sure I have enough on the clip part because otherwise it's not going to seal it. This is from last time. This is just kind of inside there. Then we're going to put a little more of the candy stuff. It's supposed to be pork and green onion stuff. Okay, uh, I figured this out. You have to do it really kind of quick, slow, like that. Bam! Okay, hopefully it's sealed. Yay! See, that looks like the picture. This looks like the picture. Oh, wait, there's the picture. I'm actually kind of proud of that. This one's good. I'm going to put it with its other little buddy right there. I don't know what that pouch was for. It's for mixing the noodles, apparently for mixing the noodles but I don't have a plate to just kind of sit around here for it so um I think what I'm gonna do here because I still have a bunch of filling I think I'm gonna make at least one more because I feel like I can do that my hands got kind of wet from the water spillage so I think I can make one more and then still have plenty for my egg and my Naruto. Warm up. Get nice and squishy. Squish, squish, squish. And then what I'm gonna do, I got water on it. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna squish it out a little bit this time like that. My hands are really sticky now. This dough has warmed up and it's really sticky. I'm going to put it in the center. Just work it out to the sides. See now it's sticking everywhere. I don't know if it's because my hands or what, but it's super sticky. And in some parts it's really thin, but in some parts it's really thick, so I don't know how this is going to go, guys. So like right there, it's, it's too thin, and I need to reassess this. I'm over this dumpling making part, by the way, guys. You couldn't tell. And I roll cookies and stuff out all the time. This is nuts. It's it's like fondant, but not like fondant. I've dealt with fondant. This stuff is... This is my last dumpling. It looked really easy, too. I'm going to have that be the inside of my dumpling. Okay in there kind of uh, I hope it doesn't fall apart this one has a lot of holes in it but I'm so not gonna worry about it because I'm done filling I still have a bit of filling left but I'm kind of over it okay and then one to squish should be okay yeah so this one has a hole but the spilling hasn't fallen out yet so that's good so now I'm just gonna set all the gyoza guys on this guy 
So I need that. I need this one to make it's the next part. I've made my dumplings. So the next thing I need to do is make my broth, it says. So it says I have to pour this packet, which doesn't have a number, but it does have the ladle. So I know it's for the broth. I don't see anything to open it with, like a little pull tab, so we're just gonna use the scissors again. All right, cut that out. I'm gonna pour this broth in. And then what it says is that there's a little fill line inside here and I have to fill that with water. It doesn't say if it has to be hot water or not. There's no like stove top telling me. But it says pour the water in. There's a little drop left over on the bottom of the cup. This is pour it till it reaches the fill line. Oops, I got water. This is not a very good pouring cup. I should have picked a different cup. I went a little over too. So I don't want water on this bag. And then it has this fork and you're supposed to just stir it. Let's see here. It actually kind of looks like beef broth. But it's not, obviously. It looks like ramen, like the yakisoba broth. You can see that. It's brown. But it it smells like it smells like citrus bubble gum. I don't know if that makes sense, but it smells like like a hubba bubba. It smells like hubba bubba bubble gum. But like the lemon one or I don't know. It's not a bad smell. It actually smells really good. So that's encouraging. So then what it says I have to do is I have to pour the noodle mixture into this container, the star container. This is a star on the bottom. This had a music note. What a music note has to do with ramen, even candy ramen. I don't know, but that's what it is. I'm supposed to take this off and I'm supposed to pour this in, or maybe I'm supposed to put the water in before I pour it in. Ooh, what am I supposed to do it that way? But I don't know because it just shows the water. But it does show the water in the container. Like, I don't know if you can tell. But it shows the water inside the container before you put the packet in. So maybe I messed that one up. But I poured a little extra water in, so. Okay. Okay. I poured in a little extra water again. And I spilled a little again. What of? It's kind of the name of the day. Okay, I'm gonna pour this guy in. Ooh, it turned yellow instantly. It's like globulating. I don't know if that's a real word. It's like when it pours out, it's like pixie stick stuff. So, and then you're supposed to mix this. Mix it all up. to do this. It's kind of like gelatinizing. It looks like lemon curd or lemon pie filling. It's a lot soupier than I thought it would be. I don't know if that's just me, but it feels a lot soupier. I did add a little extra water. That was my bad. Right now I'm just making sure there's no more clumps because it was kind of clumpy. And I want to make sure I got it all. So then I'm supposed to do this. What does it smell like? It's, it's a familiar scent. But it's not one I can readily place. 
some. It kind of has that same bubblegummy scent like that does, but not like that. It's kind of weird. So then what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to take this toothpick and I'm supposed to put it inside here and I'm supposed to poke this out. I'm supposed to go like that. Just a little bit, it says. And then what I'm supposed to do is pour this mixture, which you know, after letting it sit a minute, it has become really kind of solid. That gives me a little bit more hope. It's kind of, it's not as liquidy. It's like pudding. It's like a pudding consistency now. It doesn't smell like lemon pudding, not in the slightest, but it has that consistency, which is encouraging. So now we're back. My camera decided I hadn't done a bunch of stuff for a while, so it shut off. But all I did was pour the rest of this mixture into the bag. Now I'm just gonna set my dirty stuff off to the side. And now it says I'm supposed to, it looks like there's a rubber band or maybe it's just like, there's stuff on the outside. It looks like it's asking me Try to squish the rest of it. It looks like it's asking me to twist the top. So it's just like a pastry bag is what you're supposed to do. And then you're supposed to put the noodles in. So here's a noodle, there's a noodle, here's another noodle, then there's a noodle. So you're basically spraying in your noodles is what it is. I'm making them kind of long because it's, it, I don't know, but, you know, looking into it, it kind of does look like ramen. Like, it does look like ramen. It's weird. It's so weird, guys. Does this not look like ramen? I hope you can see it because it does kind of look like ramen. Awesome! I'm so happy this is working out. So I want to leave some of this stuff for now because I do want a fondant egg. I know it's going to sound weird, but I do want it because it's saying it's super easy kind of a deal. I just take this and I squish it. Here, I probably took a little too much, but whatever. Oh, see, it's like a little egg. I'm gonna redo that. I'm gonna take some off though, because that was way too much. I do want the fondant eggs. I think they look adorable. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Less fondant. I'm gonna squish it in. And then, oh, it's a little egg. And then what you're supposed to do is, ah, oh, the stuff is coming out the backside. That's not good. That's not good. I'm gonna use my fork, squish it down. This stuff is like gelatinizing. It's kinda weird. Anyway, you take this and you squish a little bit inside and it looks like an egg. It's super cute. So, let me show you. I'm gonna pick it up so you can see it. Ah, I just stuck my finger in it. Cause it's so tiny. See, it's like a little egg. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little egg. It's pretty freaking adorable. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this other guy and I'm gonna make a Naruto, which is a fish cake. I know what that is at least. Ha! Huh. Oh, it does kind of look like Naruto. And then, because I'm a cool kid, 
I'm even going to put some of this yellow squishy stuff in here. Yeah. I tried my best. Now it looks like Naruto. See, the thing is, though, guys, is now I have a ton of this fondant left. Like, it only shows two of these. And it's just one egg and one Naruto. So I don't know what exactly they're expecting you to make. Does that make sense, guys? I'm gonna get a little plate. Because honestly, this is, it's all on the table and it's getting to be too much. I actually have a little plate for my cat's food, but I'm gonna put, all of this on here because it's miniature size and I can. So we're gonna put my gyoza there and I'm actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll out one more gyoza because I still have some candy filling but I'm just gonna pinch it out a bit. I might have enough if I do if I do like one more egg, do a little more. If I do like one more egg and then one more gyoza, I think that's all the fondant I will kind of have. And I'm just gonna kind of squish it out. See, when it's on your hand, it like absorbs all the sugar. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it on the plate because I can't do it on the bag anymore. I'm just gonna. Squish it out on the plate. See? Ingenuity. I think it'll be just enough to fill that guy. My finger's stuck. It's really squishy. Who knew constructible candy was so freaking hard? Like... You, I didn't think it was going to be this hard, guys. I thought it was going to be kind of easy. Because I'm an adult. But it's not. It's definitely not. Okay, I think this is wide enough. But I think it's stuck. It's stuck to the plate. You guys. This is a lesson. I feel like it's a lesson that you should follow directions one at a freaking time. Okay, maybe I could just press it into here. New plan. No, that doesn't work either. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Guys, remember when I said it was over the gyoza? I'm doubly over it now. And do that and try to do that because I feel like you should okay and then I'm just gonna like that that's what I'm gonna do that's that's my deal right now it's a little pocket it's basically the same thing basically the same thing Okay, back to my last egg. I don't think the Naruto is as interesting as the egg. Maybe you want more than one Naruto. I personally do not. Okay, so I'm just squish this down. It keeps going to the top. I don't know why it does. Okay, I almost squished my egg there. No! Okay, then you're gonna fill the egg a bit more. Okay, eggs done. So we have two eggs and a Naruto, and now I'm gonna squish the last of this stuff in here. Make my the last of my noodles, because ultimately that's what I gotta do. Is use up the rest of this. So just kind of making. The way it comes out is really, I don't know, squirkly. Is that a word? I'm gonna pretend it's a word, guys. 
or glee. Look it up. So the squirrely stuff comes out, and it does look like noodles, but not like the first squirt. That just kind of looks like a blob, but the rest of it looks like noodles. Okay. Well, all right. It's gonna go in the trash pile. I have a little trash pile kind of off to the side here, because it does have a lot of trash with it but a lot of it can be recycled. So that's all good. So I'm supposed to do all this and then put my egg off to the side, off to the side, and then with a little bit of Naruto in between. Like a fancy, fancy bowl of ramen. Does that not look like a bowl of ramen, guys? It does. I don't care what you say. It looks like a bowl of ramen. Yay! I constructed a bowl of ramen and candy gyoza. So I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to come right back and you're going to watch me eat it. Because that's what you guys came for, right? To watch me eat it, not fail at this. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. So, hi everyone. Uh, you just saw me make this bowl of candy ramen. My gyoza that I worked really hard on. Watch the beginning. I'm not going to do that again. So now I'm going to try it. So I'm going to kind of go in the order I did things. And the first thing was this little gyoza. It's not pretty like the picture. Who can make that? And then the Naruto right here is pink, but then it's, it's yellow. I don't know. Whatever. So this gum pasty stuff. Okay. It's, it's kind of sour. Um, it's definitely like a fondant, but it's that sweet sour kind of flavor. It's not bad actually. And then the filling tastes like sweet tart. I don't know if you know what a sweet tart is, but it tastes exactly like sweet tart. It's really good. It's not super sugar. It's really sugary. I should refit it. It was really sugary, but it's not overpowering. I finished that. So the filling melts really quickly and just dissolves, and it's like a liquid sugar down your throat. And it's good, but I don't know if you can tell in the picture. It has um some of the green onion hit pieces in the ramen, that would just melt away super fast. Okay. Hmm. That was surprising. I still have my little fork. I'm going to use it. I'm actually going to lick it. I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm going to lick it. It's really light. It just almost doesn't have a flavor. But then it does lift up. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. I think that's really cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's really light, the flavor. Unlike the filling. So then I'm going to do an egg. It's been in the broth. So the egg, it definitely tastes like these noodles. It's a really light flavor. And so it just dissolves away right away. And then you left chewing the fondant, which is that sweet sour flavor. Like, um, it's kind of like a hint of a Sour Patch Kid. If I'm going to be honest, that's probably the closest thing I could say to it, but it's less chewy. So it's like a fondant sour patch kid almost. 
So anyway. I'm not as impressed with the eggs and stuff. The noodle with my tiny egg. I mean, obviously these are meant for kids. Um, but I'm a kid at heart. I don't really think the noodles are really cool. Um, okay, one more bite of noodles and then I taste the broth. Because I haven't actually tasted the broth either. It's drippy. It looks like ramen noodles. It's actually really cool. I didn't know they were going to be this firm. And when I was pouring them, I was like, this isn't going to hold up. It's going to be one congealed mass in, in my ramen bowl. It's been sitting there so long. But it didn't. I'm actually really impressed. It's kind of good. Okay. I'll try the, try this. Raw. The broth. It's not savory at all. It's all sweet. It has a hint of citrus to it. The noodles, this yellow pasty stuff and the broth both have a citrusy hint to it, but it's not like super strong. It, when I was smelling the packet, it smelled like the Hubba Bubba. If you ever had the, the yellow lemon Hubba Bubba bubble gum, that's what it smelled like. It was a really strong, sweet scent. But eating them, it doesn't have that scent. Or it doesn't have that taste. It has that scent a little bit, but it doesn't have that taste. Okay. I'm going to eat my, my dumpy little off it over. I really didn't want to waste it. And it's really congealed. I feel like I can recycle everything though. Because normally I don't want to create waste. But I have always wanted to do a constructible candy. I had a friend almost do one with me. Oh, she had to leave. Okay. I scooped out a little bit of the paste. Yeah, it's so weird. But like... It like doesn't have a taste. It's sweet. But it doesn't have a taste. It's really weird, guys. Because it has such a strong scent when I poured it out of the package. But it feels like jello. I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay. Was it worth all that effort to make these? I'm going to have to say yes and no. I think this is a really cool design. You used everything and a lot of it had multiple uses. Like that bag was your measuring thing for the gyoza. As well as your piping bag for your noodles. Um, I think it's... I don't have very big hands. I mean, they were clean. That's one of the instructions, I'm assuming. Right up here. Because it has sparkling things next to the hands so you need water and clean hands I think is what it's saying but I have no idea per se because it's all in Japanese so I think if I'd been able to read this I probably would have been able to figure this out a bit better it's only 99 calories though according to the back Per 25 grams. How many grams is this? It should say somewhere, right? I don't know how many grams this package is. But I think this is also a difficulty level. 
if it's one to ten, I don't know what level this is for their rating system. I thought it looked pretty easy, and it probably would have been pretty easy if I had not been videotaping it because I could have fought this through and I wouldn't have been talking I could just like concentrate on doing it but I was filming it for you guys so hopefully if you ever find this I don't know what it's called because it's in Japanese and I don't I don't speak Japanese so maybe someone in the comments below can tell me what this is if you read Japanese. That would be really cool if one of you knew Japanese and can tell me what it's all saying. I don't know. I have, I know one person that does speak Japanese, but they were not available. I can contact them and everything. But I had a lot of fun with this, you guys. If you want to see any more of these, let me know. I, like I said, I've always been curious about constructible Japanese candy. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I'm really glad I got to do this and I'm really happy it doesn't taste bad because that was my fear. I mentioned that I'm going to do all this and it's going to taste terrible but it doesn't. I held off nibbling it just for you guys. So with that I'm going to say thank you for watching all the way to the end. I know it was probably a really long video. Um, but you stuck through it. I'm really happy. Thank you. If you have any comments, suggestions, things you want me to try, things you want to see, please leave it in the comments below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, tell me what you want differently. Because <laughs> I thought I would enjoy this video. Um, I have some new videos coming up. Check them out. Subscribe to my channel if you like stuff like this. Um, like I mentioned, this is kind of a diverge from what I normally do, but I've been really interested. I'm playing with the candy. Bye guys, have fun, thank you.